Hello everyone, GM, GM. Welcome to the Solana Changelog. I'm Nick from the Solana Foundation DevRel team, and today I've got Ayush with me. Ayush, this is your Hello. first Changelog appearance. Yep, and I'm really excited for it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. Commits, what did you see this week? So this commit I saw, which was for Solana CLI, the Solana transfer command now has compute in it uh, by simulating the transaction itself. Earlier it was not happening, and I think there will be a lot of smaller PRs for this. Um, yeah, really excited for this. The other thing I saw was a uh, bump rust crate, and it is now to the stable version. Earlier it was using 1.78.0. Now it's using 1.80.1, and I think that's amazing. Yeah, bump and rust versions here. <laughs> and also I saw this deprecate legacy vote instructions. Can you just point something into it? Yeah, so uh, like a lot of people have started seeing there's been a lot of deprecation, deprecated things being removed. The There's several vote instructions on the on the vote program that have been deprecated or have not been used for quite a while um, because there's new instructions, but they were actually not deprecated, the old ones. So they've gone through and actually officially deprecated those vote instructions. And you can see a full list here in uh, Ashwin's uh, SIMD mm -hmm. where it's these specific vote instructions that if for some reason somewhere is calling this, uh, once these are removed from the runtime, those are going to start throwing errors. Um, which actually gives uh, a perfect segue into the Agave 2.0 transition guide. So Anza has been working on the deprecation process and removing everything now that we're officially going to version 2.0. Uh, so they're removing everything that's deprecated. And Anza's put together, specifically Rex St. John over at Anza, has put together this transition guide that details all of the crate names that are changing, all of the RPC methods that are changing, or well, that have changed, and, and the recommended replacement. RPC method call, and then things like um, some validator arguments that are being removed. So if you're using anything on Solana that is deprecated, be sure to check out this um, transition guide and update your code, update your scripts, make sure you're not using these because once 2.0 hits mainnet, then all of these are all of these are going to stop um, existing on mainnet and you're going to start getting errors everywhere. Um, this is the nice list as well, like deprecated v1 call, and then you can replace it with the other function that's there. So definitely look out this doc. And then we've also got um, SIMD. So SIMD for this week is SIMD 167, loader v4. And this is, um, I think this is actually like a retroactive SIMD to talk about loader v4, because I think loader v4 kind of already exists, question mark. Um, but basically it's just saying, hey, you know, a new loader program, there's more optimizations in it. And it actually sets the stage for two things. One is when everything is running on loader v4, we'll actually be able to finally remove that is executable flag. It just won't matter anymore. It's basically not used now, uh, but we'll be able to actually like officially remove that. And then the other thing is that as a developer, if you're deploying programs, you actually have two accounts that you're using. You have like this proxy account and then you have the actual program data account that's actually going away with loader v4. There's only going to be one single account. And then when you go to actually update your programs, you can actually you'll actually have like some program downtime. You basically put your program into maintenance mode and then you can then update all the code, deploy everything and update all the data in that single account and then flip the switch back and say your program is now available. So at the next epoch or the next um, slot boundary, the program will become available and executable again. That's so cool. And then for a final shout out before we get to Stack Exchange, I mean, who doesn't love Stack Exchange? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Radar Hackathon. Next Solana Global Hackathon starts in just a week or two on September 2nd, and it's going from September 2nd to October 8th. Shout out to all the amazing people over at Coliseum that are doing amazing work running the Solana uh, Global Hackathons. And a little birdie has told me that there's going to be some super special hackathon things going on at Breakpoint this year. So if you're going to Breakpoint, uh, uh, first of all, I'll see you there. And uh, be sure to check out all of what Coliseum's going to be have going on in person for the hackathon. Should be super fun. That will be so cool. And this is the right time to stock Red Bulls or any caffeine <laughs> kind of dopamine that you need to go through this hackathon. And all the best. Yeah, yeah. Now let's go to Stack Exchange. Stack Exchange. Thank you so much for all the contributions that community is doing. And uh, I think this is the best part where I see community thriving and basically helping other developers as well. Mm -hmm. So first contributor is Havakalan. Havakalan, I think I'm reading his name right, but it's just his first week and 336 reputations. Wow, really good, going great. Yo, let's go. Next is Jimmy. 
thank you so much for your contributions um next is mitch thank you so much emils and edemola yeah, great work, everyone, on the Stack Exchange. And, and like uh, AU said, like this is the best way to help contribute to the Solana ecosystem and the community, helping developers where you can. And it's always great to see other people in the ecosystem helping out. But yeah. that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this week's change log. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for having me, Nick. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.